It's Boston University basketball. Tonight, the Terriers host the University of Hartford Hawks. One on one against Kimbrough, no help coming. He gets rid of it for Ethan, a straightaway three. And EBW has six quick points. He was only one for five. Harper for Brewster. And Miles off target with the three. Nice rebound by Anthony Morales. And the whip around pass to Harper, can't hit the three. Chemezi fighting hard for the rebound. White can't. Henderson out of Brockton, Mass. And Catholic Memorial. Walter White drills a three. His first three of the night. He's got five now. I'm so Ethan Britton Watts hits double digits for the second straight game. Careless play there by Hartford. The easy steal by Walter White. And the reverse layup for Tynan. Oh, well, there's the thread of the needle as well. Keeps it moving, Pavlidis working on White. And that's an offensive foul. That's an easy call from way over here as Walter White draws the charge. You know, I think Joe's with another chance to add on here. Tynan took a look inside. Now Ethan gets it there at a good spot that time for Nevin Zink. Mismatch, find the mismatch. Walter White thought about the three. Kicks it out to his good friend Jonas Harper for a triple. Does that count as broadcaster's curse that you talk about points in the paint? And, then and another turnover for Hartford. Harper with the pass to Miles Brewster. And this run continues. And no choice now. Tom Devitt has to call a timeout. Back in the day, yes, yes. The Terriers, as we keep mentioning, are going to embark on a seven-game road trip. Steal by Miles Brewster. Telegraph pass for Hartford, and Brewster had that red from 10 feet away. A and the Terrier defense, Sin and Dunn, leading the way for Hartford, each with 11 points. Brewster around the corner for two. That's six straight for Miles Brewster now. So we mentioned he came into this game hard. Yeah, exactly. Right. Shot clock winding down. Nice sidestep for Morales to drill the three. And the Terriers have 55 points in the first half. And that was nearly a 70 footer found in West Hartford a year ago. Jonas Harper ripping a three. He's got 18. And the Terriers once again. Was it a flop? That one, no way, Jose. Brewster with the dish to Morales, and he knew he had that one online. Uh, Anthony Morales, once again, you know, sitting next to each other. <laughs> Those two guys just don't get sick of each other. More Terrier defense, another steal, and Damon Tate with an and one. Well, Damon may have heard my joke about him not taking the three, so this time gets to the paint. Nobly for the hook shot, very patient in the way he did that in the paint. Without a doubt, and that, that poise and control, he knew he aims. Landrum from the elbow, Otto Landrum connects for his first points of the night. Five for five, the five spot. Otto's now seven of 10, and how about the steal for the big man? And it deflects out of bounds off the Hawks. How about that? All right, Doug, we gotta talk about this. Otto Landrum was, gar was guarded before by Thomas Webley. The throwback. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a 30-point game when. <laughs> Ben Roy missed, but Otto Landrum with the follow. And again, this is where Joe Jones talked about broadcaster's curse. We'll find out. Nobly with the backdoor cut from Ben Roy. Freshman to freshman. Twisting shot. Rebound for Landrum. Great cross-court pass by Roy, and it's Morales as the Terriers tip over the 100 mark. Not only that, it's a new career high for Anthony Morales. He's got 19. And not only that, it's the largest lead of the game at 40 for BU. The Terriers get a 36-point win over the Hartford Hawks. Well, for BU, again, hitting that 100-point mark, and this game was decided in the first half. The last 7-17 of the first half, the Terriers took over, and they controlled it all the way through. And Back at the roof for a final time, where the Terriers' third win of the season is also the 300th at the roof all time. And with me, Jonas Harper. He hasn't been here for all 300, although you might think about it. But a game like this tonight, Jonas, uh, just you know, this whole week, the great shooting by the team, how does that kind of lead you into a tough road trip up ahead? Well, it feels good. We work really hard every day in practice. 
we're really confident in ourselves and we trust everybody when we're shooting. So we're always encouraging the next man to be confident in your shot and we'll live with the results. So it feels good going into the, into the road. You know, it's interesting you talk about the next man because in this game, it was really the, the bench helped to ignite the defense in the first half. What can you say about that second group uh, and what they did to kind of get this game going? I'm proud of them. I mean, Anthony Morales played really well. Miles brought great energy. CJ off the bench, everybody. Mally, offensive rebound. So it was a whole team effort. They did really well, bringing us energy, and, and it trickled down to the starters. So it was all them. They did great. And the Terriers 102 66 win over the Hartford Hawks. Jonas Harper, 19 points. There are games that you can say are successful wins or successful games where you score two points, five points, and games like this where you score 18. When is it, at what point do you feel like you can, you, you can have those kind of games? Uh, I usually don't try and focus on the points. I try to impact the game in other ways because we have a bunch of scores. Everybody on our team can score, so I'm just trying to do whatever I can, whether that's guarding the, the best offense player on the other team or just diving on loose balls, do whatever the team needs, and then hopefully come out with a win. Jonas, congratulations on the win. We'll see you seven games on the road starting after Thanksgiving. Appreciate it. It's going to be a long road trip. Happy Thanksgiving, Jonas Harper. And now we'll bring in the assistant coach of the Terriers, Walt Corbin. Uh, Walt, these two games this week, we've seen the Terriers up their lead in the second half after a large run. Uh, what do you like to see in terms of that energy of keeping that focus all the way through? Well, it's just the mindset. You know, and we, I, you know, we talked a little bit about the first game and. You know, it, it's, it's about us. It's, it's about how we defend and how we execute on the offensive end, and that's the focus. So, you know, if we just continue to do those two things and, and work hard as a team and as a unit, I think good things will continue to happen. We talk about the depth of this team, and obviously in games where they get a little out of hand, you can play 13, 14 players. But right now, you're in a rotation of nine or 10. What did you think all the way from one through 10 on this team so far? Well, I mean, we were, you know, pleased, you know, without looking at film, we're, you know, we were pleased with what we saw. I think there was times where we didn't play as hard as we wanted to play, and we didn't play with uh, the in intensity as far as on the offensive end. Um, you know, defensively, we had a couple of, you know, mental errors where they, they got behind us and back cut us a little bit. We had, we had talked about those, you know, not, not only during the scouting report, but in pregame today. And so we want to clean those, those mental aspects up. Doug and I mentioned that for both games this week, it seemed like the time where all of a sudden a slim lead turned into a large lead was about the seven or eight minute mark left in the first half. What was it about that time? Is it just kind of, a, you know, the second run through for those starters? Well, it was uh, basically Coach Jones at a timeout telling those guys he loved them and just to continue to play hard. <laughs> Walt, appreciate it. We'll see you on the road. All right, thank you. That's assistant coach Walt Corbin. The Terriers win it 102-66. The seven-game road trip begins in Durham, New Hampshire on Sunday. Doug and I will have the start 12.45 p.m. on GoTerriers.com.